Hey everybody, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today for another video. Thank you for all the support, the comments, the likes, the subscribes. You guys, it means so much to me and um, I, I, I just, I have so much fun doing this channel and I love being a part of this community, so thank you. So, just to share with you, um, in case you guys didn't know, I was doing a round robin. I have been doing it now, gosh, it's gotta be the better part of nine months, I think. And anybody who's been involved in it, you can let me know down below if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure it's been about nine months. So in any case, these are the choices I made from the round robin box um, that just came back to me uh, end of last week, end of last week, middle of last week. Anyway, so I made my choices and I'm actually going to have to wait till probably uh, Friday to send it out because I'm going to have to get a bigger box. Um, I went through all of my wax and um, I decided to send on a lot of the scents that... Um, I liked but maybe hadn't gotten to or whatever because I, I just I have a lot so in any case these are the choices that I made from the round robin box that I'm taking out to keep that were from others um, to start with you guys know I love my Scentsy strawberry lemon cake and um, I can't pass this up because I melt through this stuff like crazy it's fantastic so that's the first one this is called cashmere winter from Teddy B's wax I've never tried Teddy B's I'm super excited for this and you guys, it just smells fantastic. So that's my second choice. Um, this one, L3 Waxy Wonders. This is lemon curd. I am in love with the scent. It's so like crisp and just, it's a wonderful tart lemon and it's just wonderful. So I cannot wait to give that a shot. So that is again, whoops, um, lemon curd. Let's move some of these around. Okay, and here's uh, Camp Crystal Lake. This one is Orange Juice and Deep Blue Sea. This is from that Smell Good Shop. I missed out on this one when she came up with it uh, several months back, and I didn't uh, end up placing an order, and I'm really glad this came along because I really, really like that. I cannot wait to melt some of that. Um, never tried Broadway Wax. This one is uh, CCO Playmate, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so this is what I decided to try, and let me give that a quick sniff. Yeah, this is really, really pretty. I definitely get the strawberry bread and the vanilla cake pop, so I'm looking forward to that. This one is Apple Bottom Margaritas, Macintosh Apples, and Frozen Margaritas, which absolutely sounded intriguing to me. And yeah, it is. It's like a fizzy Macintosh apple. It almost reminds me of like Macintosh apple soda, so that'll be fun. This one, um, Strawberry Sweets. And I'm not really a big fan of strawberry, for the most part in wax, but this almost smells like a strawberry waffle. And I actually really, really like that. So I'll be getting to that one. Uh, there is this one. I've never tried Harper James wax. So this is a good opportunity for me. This is frosted winter. It's juniper, sage, cranberry, and pine, which a lot of pine scents can be headache inducing for me, but I've stuck my face in this one about three times today and it is not. So I'm definitely looking forward to giving that one a try. And, you know, I've noticed I used to be a seasonal melter, guys. I really am not anymore. It's kind of whatever the mood strikes. Um, so I'll probably melt that here soon. Uh, here, from L3 Waxy Wonders, this is Palo Santo, Palo Santo, Fraser Fir, Patchouli, and Mac Apple. All things that I like. And, yeah, together, it's great. So I'm looking forward to that one. This one here is um, Lemon Cream Cheese and Angel Food Cake from Rose Girls. Um, I had placed a Rose Girls order, hmm, I think it was last summer, or no, no, it was last fall. And the scents that I got that sounded absolutely amazing, uh, I ended up not liking. So I ended up passing them off in the round robin, and I've obviously gotten other ones in, in the process. And this one is really, really good. And it's funny because I would have never thought to order this one. Um, cause I'm not super huge on bakery, but I really like this and I think it's mostly because of the lemon. So I'm going to give that a shot and see how I like the Rose Girls. Uh, let's see. This one is also Broadway, uh, wax. It's pink apple punch, pink chiffon and summer melon. It smells pretty good. Um, it's not like the crazy, uh, melon scent. Um, sometimes like melon can be a little overwhelming to me. This is really good. So I'm looking forward to that. This one is called Jumpin' Jellyfish. It is pink sugar, orange creamsicle, and strawberry. Apparently, I'm on a strawberry kick this time. <laughs> Last time it was the lemon. This time it's the strawberry. Yeah, really good scent, guys. I'm looking forward to giving that a try. 
There's the sample here, uh, Satsuma, which I've never had by itself. And I do like it in blends, and I thought I would really love to see what it's like on its own. So I, I decided to grab that one. There's this, uh, Fantasy Wax Melt. Uh, looks like it says Miss Lemon Bee. And of course, you know I forgot my reader glasses, so I have no idea what I'm reading. Yeah, this is really good. This is a really, really interesting scent. I can't re uh, read the notes right now, so I'm going to leave it up there and you guys can read it. <laughs> Not sure what's even in it. <laughs> this is uh, Vintage Chic Wax. This is Watermelon Lemonade. Yeah, really good. It kind of smells like a fresh watermelon, but also candied watermelon with a little hint of that lemonade in the background. And the lemonade is kind of like that sweet, almost like lemon slush type of scent. So I'm really intrigued by that. I think that's gonna be really amazing. There's this one from Sassy Girl Aroma. This is called Empire. I've never tried this, so, and yeah, really good. It smells outdoorsy to me. I have no idea what the scent notes are. Yeah, really, really good. So I'm intrigued by that. We'll give that a shot. And then this one's L3. It's uh, lavender cream and pink sugar, which smells heavenly. Cannot wait to melt that. And then this one is Clementine Marshmallows. I'm guessing this is Rose Girls. I'm not entirely sure. Um, that looks like they're labeling. Um, but this is really good. It's basically um, <laughs> orange marshmallow. Yeah, yeah, really good, guys. It's a little more tart because it's the Clementine, but it's really good. So those are the ones I decided to keep, and I will keep you guys posted. Um, I'm sure they'll be coming up in a melting basket probably next round. I actually do have a melting basket I'm going to be sharing with you guys today in a little bit. Um, thanks again for joining me, and I'll talk to you all in the next one.